What is up, Karma Nation? Welcome back to another edition of our Monkey Knife Fight podcast. Today is Wednesday, November 17th, and we got a beautiful 11 game uh, NBA slate, slate to research. As always, I'm your host, Joey, here with my lovely co host, Ethan, ready to win you guys and gals some money. First things first, Ethan, how's your day going, and how did your props do last night? Uh, last night went very well for me, actually. Um, the Monkey Knife Fight play I put out hit. With ease, it really wasn't a sweat at all. Um, so I feel pretty satisfied with how college basketball is going. Remember, you can catch all my plays and content I put out for college basketball props for free right now in our Discord. Um, early part of the year, while you know I get used to the minutes, rotations, all that fun stuff, everything's just going to be free because – College basketball, in my opinion, is the hardest sport for props because you just don't know a lot of rotations. There's a lot of blowouts. Um, so everything's free right now. So check it out in the free Discord. Like I said, Monkey Knife Fight hit last night. What's our free night. Discord link? Um, what is our free Discord link? Come on, man. DFSKarma.com slash chat. Gotta, gotta plug thank those you. in. Yeah, thank you, Joey. Um, I should probably know that, but I do not. But that's why I have you on this podcast, Joey, to help me out with that stuff. Yeah, that's why they pay me more, because I'm the better prop player, I'm the better host. Yeah, ex- exactly. Um, but yeah, some of my obvious plays on price picks hit. Uh, the Miami guy, who I liked a lot, missed, unfortunately. He went one for eight shooting. Um, so he definitely did not get his 14 attempts that he's been averaging per game, and he shot nope. the worst he shot all year, so that kind of hurt a little bit, but... Outside of him missing, pretty much all my other top plays hit. So overall, it was a very good day for um, college basketball for me. Um, learning some NHL too, so I had a pretty good NHL day yesterday. So I'm learning that. That should be coming out within the next week, maybe if things keep going well. Um, NBA was a boring day because you know we had three boring games. So there three boring games, yesterday. two blowouts. Yeah, you can expect I mean, the props to be bad. Right yeah, so I didn't play any NBA yesterday. I just did, like I said, NHL and college basketball. So, um, but outside of that, Joey, I'm looking forward to tonight. We're getting one one day closer to football coming back. So we got a big NBA slate today, big college basketball slate, and then guess what? NFL's what? back tomorrow. So NFL is back uh, tomorrow with a nice uh, Falcons Patriots Super Bowl rematch. Um, Falcons will probably not be up uh, or even score 28 points this time. Uh, so that would get a Patriots comeback this time. Uh, with Cordero Patterson out, that's uh, it's probably going to be an ugly game. So, yeah. But agree. what's new with these night games? Ugly game, ugly game, weird game. That 49ers game, man, that made no sense. Well, now that I think about it, our last two primetime games, 49ers game, Monday night sucked. The Miami-Baltimore game, Thursday night sucked. I can't remember last time we had a good... The Rams-Titans game. Both Monday night games oh, the yeah. Rams just played sucked. Well, I guess there was those were Sunday night. Yeah, so some weird some weird uh, two weeks worth of uh, football. What was the Sunday night game this week? Um, Chiefs, fa- uh, Chiefs-Raiders, which uh, the Chiefs finally got back to business and they uh, blew out the Raiders. Um, yeah. So just... Uh, a boatload of weird games. Yeah, we had the Rams get destroyed last week. Or two weeks ago, I guess now, and that uh, then Indy uh, just destroyed the Jets as well. Um, so all these games been awful, and we had a really Steelers happened. Bears game, which that somehow was the most entertaining game of the last two <laughs> weeks in prime time, and I would have guessed that was the worst game. So yeah, and who I, knows and, what's going on? Yeah, and uh, we have a seven point spread tomorrow with the Patriots favored. Uh, Cordell Patterson is most likely not going to play. Ridley is still on vacation, so he's not going to play. Uh, Damian Harris is back for the Patriots. Yeah, <sighs> it's going to be me just points to blow out Patriots again. Yeah, Patriots, so. uh, they're looking good. I think they're one game out from the first place in the East somehow. Um, yeah. So, yeah, Patriots probably going to end up winning that division somehow and get back into another uh Another dynasty, I guess. Oh. So, Joey, just to get off touch base real quick with you, rookie quarterbacks this year. Oh. Do you think Mac Jones is the best rookie quarterback so far? I think he is. Yes, he definitely had the best situation out of all of them. Um, Trevor Lawrence is kind of just um, fucked Even though the Bears? Bears? 
I think the Bears were a better team. I guess the Bears, I mean, they have a better receiving core. Um, yes. Their coaching and, staff just sucks. Um, yeah, that, I don't that, know I what's going on with the Bears. Um, but hopefully Justin Fields gets going a little bit. Uh, I know you got him on your dynasty team. I do. Um, so I had to play you when uh, Justin Fields actually had his first game ever. That was better than, what, five fantasy points? So. Yeah, he put up, I think, 18, 20 that week. Yeah. But, yeah, I was talking to somebody earlier this morning. We are talking about the rookie quarterbacks, and, you know, we are talking about this game, and I was just thinking, I was like, man, Mac Jones is really – just blown all the other court rookie quarterbacks out of the water. Yeah, he's been the best uh, performer so far. He's going to make the playoffs. Um, I guess is he going to be the only yeah. rookie quarterback to make the playoffs. I guess the I 49ers could make a stride, but I guess that doesn't really count because that's Jimmy G out there. Uh, yeah, Lance hasn't played really any at all. Zach Wilson, Wilson looks, looks bad. Awful. Like, real bad, but that's... Yeah. I mean, it's the Jets. What else uh, do you expect there? Um, well, someone needs to get fired for that pick, in my opinion, but... Yeah, that's... Uh, Trevor they just Lawrence. need to fire everybody. Uh, start yeah. over. Yeah, Trevor Lawrence just bad coaching down there in Jacksonville. That does, team's just really bad overall. I think doesn't he doesn't have the weapons good, either. Like, yeah, I think he could be a good quarterback. He just doesn't have. I mean, he has an old Marvin Jones. His Jamal um, Agnew is his like second best favorite target. Yeah. Dan Arnold's like they're all three of those guys are tied for like similar uh, receptions and targets. Uh, since uh, someone got hurt. And then Chenault's there, too. So it's, uh, yeah, it's just a weird situation. But, yeah, I've been overly impressed with the Patriots this year. Um, I did not expect them to do this well, as well as they are doing. And I'm right there with you, Jerry. I think they'll make the playoffs this year, maybe win a game if they're lucky, depending on who they play, you know, the team, of course. But um, Mac Jones and the Patriots, the future is very bright if that is your team. I, I like what I'm seeing from – from them this year yeah looking uh maybe they have a better record than the bucks and uh maybe it was all belichick not brady yeah perhaps so so um you're doing the football game for thursday night right is that those are your props for tonight no i uh switched back to nba um, switched back found, to NBA. A, found a play i liked and uh, i didn't want to guess because patterson really wants to play um but yeah i doubt he gets cleared i think he's been practicing but like limited so yeah. Um, well, well, while we're on the football game, Joey, I'm just going to dish out some top plays that our projections are showing. Um, yeah, the projections about, love it this week. Yeah, our projections love this game. We might be underestimating this game, but um, the top prop for Thursday Night Football is Hunter Henry over receiving yards. Price Fix has him at 23.5. He looks like he's just over 20 on Monkey Knife Fight 2. Same as Underdog. And, you know, we have him – almost at 40 receiving yards. So that's a 62.55% uh, difference. So. Yeah, we played him uh, last week uh, once uh, Johnny Smith got rolled out. Um, I'm just checking now to see if Johnny Smith's still out. I didn't know what his injury was. Um, yeah, but yeah once we that. saw uh, Smith got rolled out, we uh, jumped on that, but uh, unfortunately paired him with something in the same game. Uh, Donovan Peoples-Jones, uh, over 6.5 fantasy points, and that, uh, that did yeah, not work out. Doesn't. No, he yeah. did not. Um, but, yeah, so, like I said, that's our top play, Hunter Henry over receiving yard. There's a lot of overs that the projection model loves in this one. So, you know, come come join our Discord. Check out our projection model. Um, I think you will like it a lot. Joey, you might touch on how well it did with NBA yesterday. Yeah, um, it didn't do amazing, but it still had a decent day. Um the one game that did not blow out, it went 2-0 and um, on props over 20% differential percentage or more. Uh, both those Spurs players, uh, we did not have faith in Doug McDermott. That was the top prop uh, based on differential percentage. And it hit. Um, yeah. So sometimes you just got to trust the data. And then the play I mentioned on pod, um, Derek White over 10.5 points. Uh, he moved up to 11.5 points. It was still a top play. Um, and he went over. So those both those went over. And then just overall, 30% differential percentage or better went 1, 2, and 1. Um, so if you played those top two props on the board, uh, that one tie was the second best prop. So if you blindly trusted the data, um, you got your uh, two pick to hit uh, for 1.5x because of that tie. Um, and then the 25% differential up to 30%, it went 1 and 1. And then 20% to up to that 25% went 4 and 2. So... 
still a decent day uh, with all those blowouts being considered because um, I don't think the Nets uh, played much in the fourth quarter and the um, yeah. the Jazz game, that was 120-85 to 85, and no one played in the fourth quarter there. My favorite play was Andre Drummond over 13 and a half rebounds. Uh, they benched him because he could not play defense um, and he got six rebounds in 12 minutes. So if he played those normal 30 minutes... He would have hit. He was over, yeah. Um, because he would have needed just like twenty four minutes uh to get right there. Uh, so unlucky there, but we move forward. Blowouts are part of the game. Just have to pray you're not involved in them. Because I usually look at the ten plus point spread or more just to stay away from those games. None of those games did have that last night. Um, but when Drummond's just getting destroyed in the pick and roll all day long, they're going to get blown out. Um, Jazz are good enough defensively to hold them to under 100 points. So just got to move forward. Hope uh, we don't catch any blowout games, 11 games tonight. So small chance you catch the blowout this time. But uh, you might get unlucky um, as long as you're avoiding those 10-point uh, spreads. Uh, there's, one, there's two this week. Uh, well, tonight, I guess. I'm still in football mood saying this week. Um, we got the uh, Knicks, Knicks games, an 11.5 point spread, and the Nets game is a 10 point spread. So the Nets might go from getting blown out to blowing someone out. So we'll see. It is the Cavs, so without Sextons. And I think they are without Jared Allen still and uh, yes, Mobley. Um, so, yeah, definitely a huge blowout risk there uh, when three of your starters are out and you're. St- Duck starting uh, Kevin Love and uh, yeah. so yeah. Well, well, I have some good news for you, Joey. Oh, tell us the good news. So my college basketball play I like tonight is probably not going to blow out. Oh, um, so that's great news. Love that's why I love the WNBA and college basketball because uh, you can avoid those blowouts. Yeah, so let, let me tell you about it. Um, so this is a great play on Monkey Knife Fight, I, I believe. So I would lock this in, and if you haven't played monkey knife fight before and you're watching this video use karma for a deposit bonus monkey knife fight dot online that's a referral link and then use promo code karma make sure yeah. you put both those in there they'll match your deposit up to a hundred dollars give you a free hundred dollars to play with yeah Great site. Exa- exactly so um the f- so i'm going to the oklahoma state versus north carolina state basketball game um it is a 3.5 point spread with Oklahoma State favored. Um, I'm liking Caleb Boone under 28.5 fantasy points. This one I do not understand one bit, Joey. Um, he comes off the bench, and his two games he's played, he's only played 11 and 8 minutes. Um, he hasn't gone over 18 fantasy points in these two games. And unless Monkey Knife Fight sees something that I don't, this should be an easy under. I checked the injury report. I don't see any injuries there. Um, like I said, three and a half point spread. So it shouldn't be a blowout. So you shouldn't see blowout run. Should be a very straightforward under here. Um, so that is my favorite player on the board. And then his pairing is with Darian Sebron. Over 29.5 fantasy points. So he leads the team in usage and scoring so far this year through three games. He's averaging 32 minutes per game and 21 points per game. He's gone over this number in all three games this year. He's averaging 40.6 fantasy points through three games so far. Um, and if NC State wants to win this game, like I said they're three and a half point underdogs. They'll need him to have a great game, play a lot of minutes, and score. Um, and one thing I'll mention, you know, I say he's averaging 32 minutes per game. That is a slight knockdown because he did. There was one blowout game where he got under 30 minutes, um, but in the two close games, he's averaging 34 minutes per game, which is. In college basketball, you only have 40 minutes per game, not counting overtime. So he's pretty much playing the whole game. Um, so I'm locking in these two plays, and I actually love this play a lot. So like I said, I highly suggest locking it in too. And let's count our money at the end of the night like we did last night. Sounds great. When uh, you find those nice edges where uh, the data hasn't caught up yet, uh, I guess the data expected that man to play a little more minutes than he is. Um, that's why he's still high, so... Keep pounding the unders when you can with those minutes low until uh, the data catches up with them. Yeah. Yeah, and now we can move on to NBA. Uh, with 11 games, it's tough to pick uh, one game you like, but I'm going to start with the... I'm going to focus on the uh, prime, uh, the uh, nationally televised game on ESPN tonight. Uh, 7.30 Eastern. Uh, nice game Ooh. against uh, 
Lakers and Bucks uh, could be a uh, championship preview if uh, LeBron ever comes back healthy and uh, <laughs> plays well. Um, but last year, these were two championship teams. Uh, even though the Lakers got bumped in the first round by the uh, Western Conference uh, Finals guy uh, team, uh, Lakers are still uh, in the hunt every year when you have LeBron. Uh, when you make, what, nine straight finals? You expect yeah. uh, always to be in the hunt there. Uh, I haven't checked the uh, title favorites yet, but I'm sure they're right up there. Um, even though the team's not looking that way. It's a nine-point spread, surprisingly. Uh, but national TV with stars, you know, Russ and AD will try to keep it close. Um, is AD going to play the whole game, Joey? We, we will that find is, out. Um, that is a big question mark. We get ejected uh, last game and then uh, had the runs, uh, had the shifts. He always so. has the runs every game. I'm starting to think he does – you know, he's a little shy playing in front of a lot of people maybe because he seems to have the runs every single game he plays. Yeah, maybe he's got a nervous stomach, uh, but maybe. never know. Uh, but when you've been playing the league this long, I assume uh, you can get over those uh, butterflies in your stomach. But uh, he's either made of glass or he's sick or, or he's getting injected. So hopefully national TV will keep his calm, want to play, and uh, keep this game close. Um, and after annoying game uh, slate last uh, yesterday with only three games, which two of them blew out, hopefully uh, we're not in that same situation tonight. Uh, so what I'm looking at with a pairing is Giannis Antetokounmpo and Anthony Davis over 50.5 uh, fantasy points uh, for Giannis and 48.5 fantasy points for Anthony Davis. Uh, you get Giannis at a slight discount uh, compared to prize picks. I believe he is still 51 fantasy points unless that's moved. But AD is a little higher. He's 45 and a half fantasy points um, on prize picks, but you're getting the higher payout on Monkey Knife Fight 3.6x compared to 3x. So that increase in payout warrants the uh, change in lines. Um, this game will be on ESPN, so I'm expecting the Stars com to come out to play tonight. Uh, you know, Giannis likes to show out for his home crowd, and Anthony Davis on national TV is going to want to show out, keep this game close. Um, and he's most likely going to be playing from behind, so he's going to be chucking up shots to keep this game uh, close as long as Russ is in the uh, ball hogging tonight. But he hasn't seemed like that's the case uh, this year. He hasn't been as bad as he was on the Wizards shooting 3 for 25 some games. Uh, I guess LeBron's kept him in check uh, this year. Uh, and as long as AD's getting those blocks and steals, um, his ceiling games usually come with a few blocks and steals just because he's a, one of the best defenders in the league, so he's getting two plus uh, blocks and seal some games. So that increases the ceiling uh, to one of the highest on the slate and across the NBA. And Giannis is kind of the same way with those blocks and steals. Um, long, lanky seven footers. Uh, get the long arms, you're more likely to get those blocks and steals. Uh, pace up game, Lakers rank second in the league and the Bucks rank 12th. Uh, second highest total on the slate for a reason. Great offensive efficiency. Plus a high-paced game leads to plenty of points, especially on national TV. They want more points. Um, so expect a lot of scoring here. Uh, headline by the Stars. I will say Middleton is supposed to play, but he will be on a minutes limit, so I'm not too worried about him stealing too much from uh, Giannis. Uh, so that's what I'm looking at for NBA. I know you want to add probably a ton to that because you love NBA, right? Yeah, for those who don't know me, I absolutely hate the NBA. Um, and I'm going to tell you multiple reasons why. One, I think the players are just absolutely lazy. Who needs rest after three games? Come it's on. a long season. They can take off yeah. games and uh, still make the playoffs. Yeah, I don't, I don't care one bit, Joey. You have a job, play your job. Um, but, yeah, that's my main reason why I hate the NBA is because they're just lazy. They don't try all the time. There's blowouts. You have LeBron James who'd rather talk about politics than playing the game of NBA, which who wants to hear him talk about politics? Nobody does. Um, I'm not a Le LeBron James fan at all, just if you can't tell. Well, at least you don't um, get to watch him tonight on uh, ESPN. Yeah. He's still yeah. out. I, I'd rather watch Taekwondo or something like that than the NBA. So that can be exciting. I still, look at, I still look at NBA props. I'll still play here and there, but NBA can just F off for all I care. Yeah. Um, um, I don't care one bit. So, But, yeah, so I'll be having golf props for tomorrow morning, though, in our Discord. Um, college basketball will continue to be free for at least a couple more weeks. 
um, maybe until at least conference play starts. You never know. Uh, college football props will be out there tomorrow. We'll have NFL. Joey has NBA on lockdown. We have very smart NBA minds in our Discord. Hockey might be coming around the corner too. Uh, I'll keep you posted on that. But Joey, I don't think there's a sport we don't do. We try and do it all. There is not unless they uh prospects sometimes add some weird sports with like twenty five dollar limits um that yeah. we have no idea about. But uh all the consistent sports, we check out esports as well. Um we have some great esports minds in here as well in our Discord. So it's not just us. Um we got a couple people holding down the fort for us, which is nice because we can't look at all the props every single day, every single hour to find some edges. Um, so sometimes prize picks, like today, uh, prize picks, uh, prize picks NBA earlier in the day, the prize, the lines were a little lo- higher, but uh, they just bumped a couple people down um, for props that our projections already like the over for. Um, so we just locked in a play right before this pod that the projections loved. And there's a play we actually locked in the other night as well. Same two players, same two props. And they're actually lower tonight than they were last time. So, Yeah. And if you're still watching this, um, stay tuned. On Sunday, we're going to have a, um, a sale going on for all of our packages. So just be on the lookout for that. Um, not going to go into details today. But I believe that is launching Sunday. And it's yeah. going to last. Should be Sunday. Week. Nice uh, Thanksgiving promo for you guys. Uh, we're already running a sale in general. Uh, our Packages are $15 a month less right now for the prize fix package or the props package in general. Um, so $35 a month. You can go to dfscarma.com slash pricing. You click on the props tab. That gets you all our official plays in Discord as well as the uh, prize fix projections that we've been talking about on the pod. Um, so great value, $35 a month. Or you can get the year-long package. Uh, we've actually had a couple people grab that uh, recently since we started these daily podcasts. Um because they realize, yeah, the projections are nice. Um, and if you're going to be in for the long term, which most of you people should be, it's not a get-rich-quick scheme. You're going to have those down months. You can come in, and we have a bad week right when you come in and kind of just get screwed and down early. But as long as you're in it for the long haul, those e- tend to even out. Um, so those prize fix projections, we get them a nice, easy-to-read table for you, sorted by differential percentage. Uh, like we always talk about, 30% or more of those best plays. Sometimes you can get up to 40% or more which we just locked in those today to 40% or more props. Um, So great time to join. NBA is getting the full swing. Those projections are killing it better than me, better than uh, Ethan. Um, Anyone's better than me. They've been great. Um, I don't like trusting the data all the time. I wasn't a believer, but now now I'm full on just trusting that uh, projections as much as possible. I am turning Joey into a believer slowly. Yeah, I guess we can give Sam some credit for... He's been doing our projections for over two years now, so I think he's perfected it. Um, And and remember, though, the projections can be used for any prop site, any betting site, anything, really. Um, You know, these projections just aren't for one site specific only. So if you play on Underdog, you know, you also play on, like, an iFi for watching this video. These projections can be used for all these sites, so don't just think that they're for one site only, because that's not true at all. Yeah, and they can be used for sports books as well. Um, sometimes they have a lot more props than uh, these sites, um, so you can apply it anywhere you want. Um, if you don't play on any of these price, uh, these sites, which I'm sure you do since you are watching this, um, so you can apply it to some of the uh, sports betting states. Don't have these uh, sites up yet, so. Hopefully they come around soon, but uh, some of these, uh, like Pennsylvania and Vegas, they're just not letting anyone in. Um, so yeah. if you're one of those states, I'm sure not even watching, but the projections work for that as well. We also have actual bet- betting uh, props as well at betkarma.com. Um, they have the top props. So it's a similar differential percentage and grading system as uh, the prize picks projections, but applies right to sports books. Uh, so you can check that out as well. And again, our free Discord links, dfscarma.com slash chat. Um, so just easy to remember. It's our website slash chat. Uh, that gets you into our Discord room. Maybe Ethan will remember it next time. Nice and simple. Um, Quiz me tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll uh, have you do the intro next time and see uh, see if you can do it. Um, but And we will see you guys tomorrow. We have our uh, football podcast. Um, so we'll be touching on all three of the sites, monkeyknifefight.online, prizepicks.online, underdog.online if you're not familiar with any other sites get familiar before tomorrow 
Uh, use promo code KARMA. All three of those sites uh, match your deposit up to $100. And we will see you tomorrow to talk some football. Yeah. Good luck, guys. Win some money tonight. See ya. See ya.